So I wanted to give a quick update on my food plot, or my deer plot. And uh, specifically, the product I used is this Imperial Whitetail Clover mix. So I will say that I didn't get the coverage that I expected, because supposedly this one bag covers, an, um, I believe, a half acre. <laughs> and this is not a half acre. Now, in all fairness, I probably planted this a lot um, more densely than it's expecting for that kind of coverage. So I will say that I didn't get quite the coverage. I actually had to also insert, uh, add to it some Dutch clover, uh, Dutch white clover that I had seed that I was putting to reseed my lawn and areas. I included that in the mix to make sure I had enough. And I still didn't. There's still areas around the edge that I didn't get enough seed into. And we had a ton of rain, so it started coming up. And... The deer love it. <laughs> like, the coverage was terrible. So that bag right there was like 30 bucks. And I was like a little hesitant, and I wasn't thrilled when it was, didn't go very far. But the results in terms of deer coming to this area blew my mind. Like, within, as soon as this came up, like, this came up within a week. And I immediately started getting pictures of more deer in this area. So I've been, all summer, I've been working on this little plot you know, I've cleared some, some out. You can see the tall grass back there. I've clipped this down and I actually need to clip it again. I actually bought a tiller, a mantis small little tiller. Um, works really great. It was a little difficult in some areas here because it's just the, these root masses, like old, just a lot of gnarly stuff back here. So I kind of had to do a little bit of work with the shovel too. But I actually bought a tiller because I tried to do this by hand and I nearly killed myself <laughs> in uh, almost 100 degree weather. It was not good. So I broke it up a little bit with the shovel, then I took the mantis tiller. I'm going to use that mantis tiller elsewhere, so I'll probably do a separate video on that. But, because I'm def I'll definitely be using that later in the season, and I may actually use it down here again to expand my little clover plot. But yeah, so I got tons of deer. Like, just, I had four deer in one shot. I've never had that. So that there's a tra I have one trail cam. I technically have two trail cams, but one of them is like a Primos one. And it just misfires. Like, it basically just takes a picture every few seconds all day long, and it's miserable. It's just nothing but misfires. But that camera's pretty good. That's a wild game innovation. It's a slightly older camera. The quality isn't amazing, but it's accurate in terms of something in front of it. I want to get another camera, something with higher quality, both picture and video. Because even if I don't end up hunting down here, I really, really do love bringing the deer in to either watch them from my house... Or just have really cool pictures of them. So anyway, so tons of deer. Tons of deer. Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention, this is the Saskatoon berry. I've pretty much confirmed that it, that's what it is. I had six berries on it that were ripening up. I wrapped them in a net, netting, and a damn bear came and ate them. And I'm pretty sure it was the bear because the I got a picture of a bear. I'll have to include it in this little, at some point in this video. And yeah, I got this little backside and I came out the day after that picture was taken and those berries were gone. So it might have been a deer too, but the netting and everything had just been ripped off. So stupid bear. But in any case, a uh, cool photo of a bear. So I also came out here just today and I actually scuffed up some areas that didn't fill in with clover and I buried some black oil sunflower seeds because I've heard that the deer love to eat the sprouts too. So I just planted some in some very distinct areas to see if I can capture on camera the, when they come up if the deer are eating them. I also, over here, put in a little watering hole. Really basic. I had this old kiddie pool. I had used it for my ducks. Um, yeah, just dug a hole, put it in, filled it with water. It stayed filled. You know, it rains enough so that the water comes in. I have not gotten a picture of them using it. I don't know if the deer care to use it. But I'll leave it here and see what happens. Um, it's, I mean, it's no big deal because I was not doing anything with this kiddie pool. Though having said that, though, I do want to put like a little pond back in with the chickens, but I have this sandbox cover that I think I'll use for that, which may probably would have been better because instead of being bright, it's dark green instead of bright blue. So it would probably make more sense to put it down here, but oh well. So the deer mostly come from over there. There's an opening in the rock wall. They come through. So I got a lot of great pictures. And like I said, I'll have to include the pictures that I got after adding this clover. Again, not thrilled with the coverage, but I'm seriously thinking about spending another $30. Oh, actually, before I talk about that, that watering hole, also very popular with my bees. I came down here this morning, and there was 
I don't know, probably a dozen of my, well, I assume my bees, honeybees, drinking out of that pond. Like, I don't know why they come all the way down here when I have a pond up there, but whatever, whatever they're into. So I was blown away by the response from the deer. So awesome. I'm going to keep growing it. I know I'm going to get some growth, some of this other tall growth is probably going to come back in here, but I'm trying to keep it under control and keep this clover happy because that's awesome. So whether or not I hunt down here, there's definitely, definitely deer love this and that was worth it. So again, I'll probably end up buying some more and expand it because this is a tiny little plot and they're going to eat this like nobody's business. <laughs> I'm sure I'll come out here and they'll, it'll all be gone. But anyway, so I just wanted to share an update and the success I've now had down here. They don't give a damn about that salt, salt block. They were freaked out by the feeder. I had the feeder here for a long time. Barely, I mean, occasionally I'd see a deer, but nothing like this clover. They love the clover. It's so strange, but awesome. Glad to see it happen. Now that I know this is the case, I'm going to be putting some other food plots elsewhere. I really want to develop this property into a very deer-friendly property. So I'd like to put plots elsewhere um, and see if they come to other areas and also get some more st uh, trail cams. But for this year, I'm just going to try to see what I can do down here. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey.